What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster here uh, with an update video. Uh, today is Thursday, January 13th, 2022. About 12.55 uh, p.m. California time. Latest quake out here on the Earthquake 3D globe. A 5.0 in the South America region. Seeing a little bit of uptick here in this area overnight. Uh, looks like all other areas... Uh, uh, remain pretty active as well. Let's go ahead and check out some movement out here on the USGS map here. If I can pull this up, there we go. I uh, can see that uh, swarm of uptick there into the South America region. Some deeper earthquake activity kicking up there as well. 4.3 down into the Peru Chile Trench. Pretty deep movement. Also, a couple of, um, well, we got that larger quake that just came in, 5.0 at uh, relatively shallow, 16.1 kilometers. Uh, for that earthquake looks like a couple other ones in there as well overnight uh, up here along the uh, north uh, northern part of the uh, northern california area just off the coast of oregon actually we've seen some movement let's go ahead and bring the all magnitudes here real quick and uh, you can see uh, a little bit of activity out here in the gorda ridges 3.2 hitting this morning at uh, 10 kilometers out there in the pacific uh, a little bit of activity also down into the uh, well, the southern end of the Cascadia, some deeper movement, including uh, this activity here. 2.4, 24.3 kilometers down dip into the uh, Cascadia area. And also a little swarm of movement south of the Redway area. Uh, looks like 2.8 and a 1.9. So a little bit of movement into the Northern California region uh, listed there on the map. Uh, the rest of California... Somewhat active, looking at the scene here through the Bay Area. A little bit of activity once again on the uh, San Andreas Fault System here, just uh, outside of San Francisco and the San Jose area. A couple of small microquakes along the Calaveras Fault System that runs kind of down towards the uh, San Andreas Fault here, the creeping section. Uh, Southern California, of course, we did see that uh, 3.9 come in. Originally a 4.1, this thing has produced a massive amount of aftershocks for a 3.9. That's a pretty uh, pretty significant swarm of activity. Looking at, uh, well, over 100 earthquakes or so uh, within the last hour, or no, within the uh, last 24 hours. Within the last hour, these red circles there indicating that movement. Uh, just a few microquakes in the last hour, but it's a pretty good number, 100, 100 or so uh, earthquakes. So far, it looks as though the majority of them are indeed uh, just that, which is a microquakes. But uh, it's a pretty good swarm for a 3.9. Struck at uh, about 14 kilometers below the surface, somewhat deep for this area. The, earth, uh, the aftershocks, though, pretty consistent uh, with that same level as well, between 13 and 16 kilometers. Uh, below the surface for the majority of those aftershocks as well, but still kind of watching that movement down there Which is occurring around the San Jacinto fault area uh, There in Southern California uh, What else we got here looking at some other areas here in the in the southern part of the state Not a whole lot of other swarming to report in this region Did have some activity. Uh, let's see here. I think that was yesterday We've seen some movement there in the Gulf of California that has since dropped off and it looks like uh, activity along the uh, Ridgecrest area still showing some movement um, and also up north around the Long Valley Super Volcano and also a little earthquake up here near the Bridgeport area uh, looks like 1.5 uh, Nevada getting in on a little bit of activity and also Utah as well Intermountain West region still showing uh, that activity from yesterday up in the Yellowstone area some microquakes kick kicking off there and the Sawtooth Fault Zone in Idaho showing some activity. Uh, seen a little bit of further movement up here along the Aleutian Trench. The activity over here where we've seen that 6.8 and uh, a bunch of other quakes there two days ago has died off almost uh, completely. Uh, so we're just looking at a little bit of movement here to the west along this uh, plate boundary in the trench region uh, with a couple... Uh, fives kicking off there in the Aleutian Trench area. Did see some movement over here yesterday, late last night, at 4.4 into the Curl Trench here. 
all areas along this region look pretty quiet for now and uh, we noticed a uh, pretty large drop off of earthquake activity along the Solomon Islands and Fiji area nothing to report at least in the last 24 hours there uh, we did see some further downscale movement here around New Zealand this comes in after a little bit of movement let's bring up the uh, seven days 2.5 and above we did see a little bit of activity along the Kermadec Trench last week uh, also stretching down here uh, with a deep earthquake around the Hikurangi subduction zone 191 kilometers for this earthquake of 5.7 uh, but it looks like a little bit of movement has worked its way down south here in the last 24 hours with that current 4.4 at 17.1 kilometers for the, uh, the depth. And uh, aside from that, it's not a whole not a whole lot of activity stretching up around this region right now. The uh, big island out here, um, of course, Kilauea is still rocking and rolling out there. And uh, one little earthquake close to the Loihi Sea Mount uh, kicking up out uh, in the Pacific. Other than that, uh, Mauna Loa still showing some movement. A little 2.8 uh, kicking up in that region of the uh, Pacific. Gotta love yappy dogs. I don't know if you guys can hear those or not. I don't know why people keep those dogs. Uh, let's see what else we got here in the Greece area. A little bit of movement, some forest kicking off. And also up around the Poland area, seen a 4.3. Uh, earlier at about 10 kilometers just don't see a whole lot of movement up there but uh, a little bit of shaking going on up in Poland area south uh, and the North Atlantic Ocean looks pretty clear with uh, no reported movement uh, from the USGS looking at the uh, rest of the country here pretty quiet along the east go ahead and check out Yellowstone here as we're uh, kind of exploring the map here still kind of active uh, looking at the last 24 hours of earthquake activity you can see Maple Creek here uh, specifically showing quite a bit of localized earthquake activity this is kind of where the swarm is taking place I believe I wouldn't call it a swarm I would just say uh, the earthquake activity see uh, at least a handful of earthquakes in the region of uh, Maple Creek that activity also showing up on Holmes Hill Purple Mountain area Madison River all verifying the earthquake activity uh, also over here in the borehole region, see a little, looks like a little self, -is uh, like a little isolated earthquake over here. A couple of them, uh, separate from the swarming or the uh, activity in the uh, Madison River area. Looks a little bit uh, more distinct over here as far as localized activity goes. But uh, we've been watching movement kick up a little bit here in Yellowstone, but nothing significant. It's just uh, kind of doing its thing temporarily, and uh, it, it could all stop or it could continue for a little while and, and intensify. Right now, just some very small quakes taking place there at Yellowstone, and not a whole bunch, just a little bit. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Let's go ahead and check out the EMSC model. Uh, also, live stream, man, good lord. Having issues with the live stream yesterday, all day, and then uh, last night, my ISP sent me a message stating that they were going to bring down the internet uh, for about six hours or so. So the stream went down again um, from about one in the morning till seven in the morning. So there's no no uh, alternative to bring up the stream at that time. Uh, and I'm thinking it's very possible that the prior activity I was having uh, was due to some uh, some issues maybe that the ISP was having around here. Uh, and that was causing my stream to um, to uh, disconnect or have some issues there yesterday. I'm thinking, hopefully. So far, it looks pretty good this morning. Everything running green. Uh, no issues since I've restarted the stream a little bit ago. So, uh, fingers crossed, everything stays up and as is. Uh, looks pretty uh, looks pretty typical here on the EMSC map. Uh, a little bit of movement along the Middle America Trench. I'm not for sure if that is showing up on the uh, USGS map here. Let's see. Not a whole lot of it. Uh, just a couple of earthquakes here around the uh, Guatemala area off the coast into the Middle America Trench at 35 kilometers. The EMSC showing a little bit more activity. A couple more fours within that region uh, than the USGS is showing. 
and uh, a little bit of activity also up there it looks like but uh, man overall things just kind of uh, doing its thing at the moment uh, let's see what else we got here yeah that's about it let's check out the solar weather real quick and uh, things kind of well Still looking at a G1 class storm here on the 15th. That's going to be coming from a uh, coronal hole that's facing the Earth side, uh, providing us with some uh, higher latitude aurora prob probabilities, including middle latitudes there at 30%. So we'll have to see how well this plays out um, in the coming days. Solar flare threat is pretty quiet. Uh, just a 60% chance of solar flare threat currently. But uh, other than that, uh, that's about it, folks. We will be back a little bit later. Um, and um, we will uh, be watching the uh, activity out here on the globe. Hopefully the stream stays up. If it doesn't, uh, don't worry. I will definitely bring it up as soon as I can. We'll chat you guys a little bit later.